Hi, how are you doing? Jeff Sinker from SkyGuitarLessonsOnline.com Celebrate the return of Zach Wilde back with Ozzy Osbourne. I've decided to do one of my favourite tracks from the No More Tears album, the opening track, Mr Tinker Train. Really powerful riff on this one. I just hope I do it some kind of justice. Do want to point out that in the track it is tuned down a half step. Now, I've got a locking system on here and I do a lot of teaching during the day. So I've just played this in standard tuning. My backing track is in standard tuning. So apologies. I know some people will say, no, you should have tuned it down. But this is just a practical aspect for me. It doesn't really change anything that you play on this whatsoever. So enough of me prattling on. Let's get the cameras in close. But before we do that, don't forget, if you do enjoy this video, and I'm sure you will, click on that button, subscribe. That way, as soon as I bring out more videos, you'll be able, or you will be notified by YouTube that they've arrived. As usual, the tablature and the Guitar Pro 6 file can be found by visiting my website. You'll find the link below, so you'll be able to actually see exactly what Zach Wilde is doing. There is a section in this, uh, typical Zach Wilde playing the pinched harmonics. Now, I'm not covering pinched harmonics, how to play this. Very, very difficult process to do on a camera. Uh, I will try and tackle it at one point, but uh, my apologies for people who go, oh, how do you do these pinched harmonics? Uh, this is just about playing the riff. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of information out there on YouTube as well, how to play it. Uh, I know I tackle this with my students doing this online. Uh, it is a process for people to actually understand it, but sadly, not in this video. Uh, I promise I will get round to doing one. So anyway, let's move on. Let's get to the good bit. Let's get the cameras in close and let me show you how to play the intro to Mr. Tinker Train. So don't go away. Preview. We start off, so the song starts off with, with three B5 power chords, which is played across the A, D and G string. So we've got A2 and D and G on 4th fret. So we get this. Then for the, the following bar, bar number two, we have two A open strings. Then we play in four, three, two, one, open string. So the whole section sounds like this. Now I'm putting quite a bit of mute on there as well, just to really kind of give it that deep kind of metal sound when we play through. Now he repeats that section four times. Then we go into the main part of the riff and we're going to start off with this, uh, it's like an E5 power chord, but we're going to play the E open string. We're just going to play across two and two on the A and the D string. And then we're going to pedal across to three on the low E. Back to the two, two on A, D. And then back to the three on the low E. So we would get this. Again, muting heavily across that. Then we go to a D chord and we're going to play also the A open string, the D open string of course, and then two and three, two on the G and three on the D. Then he just focuses on the A, D and the G just playing the two. And we play that twice. 
Then we go to a low to the third fret on the E string. And then we go to an A5 or an A power chord, which is just open string A, uh, two on the D and two on the G. Back to three on the low E string. And again, back across to this A5 power chord. And then he finishes off with a squealy with a bend on the low E string. So he's gonna hit three and then he's gonna play a squealy. And again, put in the usual Zach Wilde vibrata onto the track. So let me just play that through slowly. Now, the next part, it's exactly the same riff. But at the end, we don't go to a squealy, we're just gonna go to that three and do a bend. So we would get. And he goes back and repeats that first one. So the whole section, as we repeat, play it through, is just gonna go like this. So we've got that first section with the squealing. The next section plays the same riff, just go back to a G. It plays the same riff with the squealing. Now on the final one, slight difference on the way he exits out. We get this where he's playing. Just gonna end on that A string or the A5 power chord. So let me play it through so you get the whole idea of that uh, intro riff. Well, there you have it. A uh, short riff. Uh, it's uh, not too long, not too hard to play. Um, like I said, if you uh, want to download the tablet chair, just click on the link below, take it to the website, all the information will be there. We we're going to throw in the backing track as well. Uh, it's not the greatest of backing tracks, but it is tuned into standard tuning. So again, if you don't want to tune the guitar down, you want to play along with this, you can. Obviously, if you want to play along with the video, then you will have to tune down to E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. That way we'll be able along to play along with uh, Zach and Ozzy on the video. So, until next time, and I hope there will be a next time, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com wishing you well, thanks for your company, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.